you get hold of seven swans? Well, it's easy. You can't. Swans always have a partner for life. Oh, so I can't keep an odd number. No. One would be lonely. It wouldn't be fair. Oh, I suppose not. Good night. I went home with a heavy heart that evening. My little sister Daisy was putting on her Christmas show, and I was to be the audience. <laughs> Hopefully, I'd be able to raise my spirits before curtain up. Ready? Oh, I've been waiting all day for this. Then the show began. As the curtain rose, I couldn't believe my eyes. <laughs> Swans! Seven swans are swimming. Well, I never. <laughs> Good old Daisy. If she hadn't given me her toy theatre, well, I don't know what I'd have done. Seven swans are swimming. Six geese are laying. Things were improving. Elizabeth's father no longer shouted at me quite as loud. Next day was the eighth day of Christmas. So, without prompting, I set about coming up with eight maids a milking. I used my head and my limited powers of salesmanship. Now, milking stools are always three-legged. So those silly little four-legged stools that Miss Matilda could never sell, they were just the job for my plan. Roll up! Roll up! Amazing new invention! Four-legged milking stools. Come and try them out. First eight, free! Well, who can resist a bargain? Word spread fast. And Elizabeth saw it all. Business was brisk. I gave away the first eight, then made a handsome profit on the rest. At last, I seemed to have impressed Elizabeth's father. Clearing my stock of stools needs rewarding, Billy. Here's your share of the money. And well deserved it is, too. Oh, that's very generous of you, Miss Matilda. Thank you. Just as I had hoped, I needed nine ladies dancing, and here they were. And here was I, with enough money to hire them. didn't think it was as good an idea as I did. Sorry, young sir. I have only the one. But I bought it anyway. <sighs> one down, eight ladies dancing to go. Oh! 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 oh. The other eight appeared sooner than I could have hoped for, even though it meant a little pain.
but the note informed me they were on their way to India. Oh. It looked like I was beaten. And on the eleventh day of Christmas, poor Elizabeth waited in vain for me. Hmm. Doesn't look as if the young rascal's coming. Hit here. I was beginning to like the lad. But you must have got them, Grandpa, or we wouldn't be here, would we? <laughs> That's right. And it was all a matter of being in the right place at the right time. And that was the next day when Thank old Mr. Weisskopf, the clockmaker, asked me for help. Ah, oh, what a word, Billy. <laughs> the old general ordered this specially, paid for it, and then up and died. Oh, <laughs> will you help me push it out the back? Uh, of course. <laughs> now his wife doesn't want it. Thinks it's ugly, and I don't want it. <laughs> Too noisy. Ah, there. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. You're welcome. And you'll stay there till the junk man comes, if he'll take you. I mean, who would want 11 pipers piping and 12 <gasps> drummers drumming every hour? Huh? Only a fool, that's who. Hey! <laughs> hmm? Billy? You can call me a fool if you like. What? I was worried when you didn't call round yesterday. Sorry, but I didn't have this yesterday. It's the last two days of Christmas in one. Look! Any second now. Is that dreadful racket? The sound of me winning, sir. Aha! Not so fast, young Billy. You're a little short. I'm quite tall for my age, sir. No, not inches, boy. You're short to the tune of one partridge in a pear tree, remember? You won't give up now, Billy. Of course not. See you tomorrow. We had a terrific thunderstorm. Then, disaster struck. What will the poor partridge do for a home? Pear tree? Partridge? <laughs> to think they've been under my nose all the time. Don't worry, Mr. Partridge. I know a pear tree just waiting for a fine fellow like you to take up residence in. The rest is history, as they say. Your grandma and I became engaged and were soon married. And you lived together in this dear old house ever since. <laughs> we have, my dear. Ah, dinner. <laughs> I'm starving. Come on. <laughs> 